Now the water that the lids are sitting in, they will be hot also. I'm going to take the funnel and move it. The rim is very clean. And we're going to check our lids. I know to be checking our lids to make sure the seal, there's no, um, there's no um, dent in the lid. So therefore it wouldn't interfere with us canning. But we also need to take out the bubbles. Here. You can see the little bubbles coming up as I move it through. I'm going to make sure we don't damage any of the um, yellow squash. Again, I'm going to wipe off the lid of the rim and put this on here. And I'm going to be This will be coming out of a hot water. And this jar will be hot. The hot water that's um, the vegetables is emerging hot. You add a little salt. If you're working with tomatoes or figs, you may want to add the lemon. Have lemon in there. We tighten it. Now, this is a low acid food. We'll be cooking it in. We'll be doing a pressure canning in a pressure cooker. And you will fill this about two thirds of the water. And the recipe may call for 10, we have seven jars in here. Fill it about two thirds. Recipe calls for 10. Take this off. Take the weight off. And we we'll set this up and we set it. We set this on a heat until. We don't put this on until it starts venting. So we put this on the stove, and once that is completed, you don't have to move it, just take open it up from the stove. But we're going to do this for We open it up, and you open it up away from you because steam is going to be coming up out of it. Once we all the steam have built up. Take this, sit it on a rack or a towel, and what you're going to hear as the pressure. As the pressure builds up inside the jar and the jar is cooling off, you're going to start hearing a popping sound. And that allows you to know that it is sealed correctly. That is a pressure canner and the same procedure with the water, can, the water bath, which you do, uh, emerge the glass, uh, your jars inside the water bath canners. And when you take that out, allow it to settle down for about five minutes before removing the jars and sitting it on a towel or a cooling rack. And the same procedure goes for the uh, All-American Canner. We want our families to be safe. We want to educate them. We want to consider ourselves the grandmothers and grandparents that was in the kitchen teaching the next generation on canning and preserving food.